Hello dear students, today I am going to introduce one more student of third year who has done fabulous in GATE 2025. Students, in this year GATE 2025, third year students are dominating and you all students, it is very much motivating to all the students who are college going and who are also in job and it shows that with your college, with your job, you can prepare and you can do boom in your GATE exam. Dosto, in this session, we are going to introduce Gangi Neni Varshisht, one student from NIT Calicut, third year student who has done fabulous in this GATE 2025. Gangi Neni Varshisht, I welcome you to this podcast session. Please introduce yourself and tell me about your family and how you have prepared for this GATE exam. My name is Varshit. I'm studying, I'm currently studying third year in NIT Calicut EC. So my father is a government teacher and my mother is also a government teacher. So my father has advised me to write GATE exam. So I took uh, physics wala Parakram 2.0 batch. When I started my preparation from July. Okay, so what actually motivated you? Because you are already from NIT Calicut, one of the best college for BTEC students. Why you have prepared for GATE 2025? Sir, for uh, better opportunities to learn more, to learn to get into MTech to get more exposure towards the subjects, core subjects, uh, more about generally to digital and analog VLSA. Okay. Uh, one more question. NIT Calicut is already having a very good placements, but why you are going towards MTech? That, uh, that means there will be more uh, opportunities uh, in terms of jobs, also in terms of uh, knowledge to gain as industry needs uh, more knowledge nowadays. Okay, so uh, students, I would like to focus on one point uh, uh, emphasized by Gangi Neni, that is uh, MTech students are having much more opportunities in big companies like Intel, uh, Cadence, Cypress, Texas Instrumentations, and they are getting more opportunity as well as they are going, getting higher packages than BTEC students. So if you are from a good college, then also you must try to go to MTech because MTech students are having a much more dominance in core industry than BTEC students. Now, uh, Ganginini, I would like to ask, like, what was your schedule? Like when you started your preparation, what was your planning? How this batch Parakram 2.0 helped you in your preparation? and how your family helped in your preparation? Firstly, I started with the easy subjects, sir. Like network theorem, digital electronics and analog, analog, analog electronics, which were taught in our uh, our uh, classes. So, I just watched it in a crash course way. Uh, and then I prepared initially from one, one or two hours a day and then uh, on going, I, pre I prepared mostly three, three to four hours a day, sir. And then my father has been uh, has given me more, more motivation from start to end of the gate examination. Siddhar, sir, as we have seen that this year, especially third year students are doing dominating. great yes. and dominating. And some of the students are there who have just created the history also. <laughs> okay. So in this segment, I think Versist is also coming one with the one of the students who have secured a very good rank. And definitely you can see this thing. Now coming to the Versist question, what exactly you have planned? Means if somebody is college going student, then I have always seen that everybody is just crying that my college is there, how I can prepare, how what should be strategy. Then what exactly you have opted and when you have opted that I have to do this thing firstly and then after if we follow this particular strategy, then definitely we can crack the gate 2025 examination. What's your exact strategy what you have followed for this exam? First, I listed uh, the subjects sir, which were already known to me. That means which I was somewhat perfect. So, and then the topics, and then in that sub in those subjects also, there will be some topics which I feel somewhat hard. Mm. So, I just listened to those lectures and uh, I just practiced previous year questions, test series, DPPs on that. Mm. Next, uh, I listed uh, the topics which were not taught in college, uh, oh. which I want to study deep. I I given more time for towards it, sir. Mm. So in college days, I, I can see that 
uh, family support is very very important because when somebody is, uh, is handling two things one is the semester and you are also from the nit calicut so so i think okay. the schedule was definitely something very hectic like uh, there will be more pressure compared to the other colleges so how your family has supported like your father you have told me that your father has supported much more for you for this particular examination so how how they have supported and what kind of support you have got from your family uh, my father said uh, try until your best uh, and also as uh, regarding to the schedule it may be any college there will be at least 2 3 hours for you per day to study mm. so you want to use it effectively mm. in my college there were uh, no afternoon classes okay. so i used those timings and uh, during nights i used to study Mm. So means you have got full support from your family and definitely it's always important that family is supporting for the students and in third year you have done this thing. So that's what you, you are thinking some, uh, exactly. something to ask. Sir, actually I want to make a very important point here. The students who are going to college, they actually feel extra pressure that college is ex giving extra pressure, Correct. preparation is also giving extra mm. pressure. I want to make a point here that if the students try to mix them mm. like if they are preparing in, uh, if the subject is completed in college, if mm. they if they study in college and they give some extra points, some extra flavor from our batches, mm. then obviously the students of third year, na, they mm. will crack the exam like what is happening here right mm. now. Mm. So we were talking about Swarna, mm. we are talking about Vashisht. Mm. These are the students they have already saying, they, they have told us that they have studied the subjects very good in your in their college itself mm. and from our batches they are only gain, gaining some extra points and they are adding that in their knowledge and that's why they are doing very good in gate exam so all the students who are in college right now either they are in third year or second year or fourth year i would say that mix your college preparation as well as your gate preparation and then study the subjects this will help you in college percentage also and your gate preparation also. Uh, Vashisht, I would like to ask you that how your test series help, helped you in your gate exam? The test series, uh, initially I used to write subject wise test series sir. So, uh, after writing test series, initially I was getting low marks and then I just see where I am making mistakes and which concepts I was making mistakes. So, I just kept revising those uh, concepts and uh, I remember uh, making a short notes of what, what mistakes I made. Next, uh, maybe from uh, December mid, I started writing uh, grand, uh, grand test from uh, physics for test series and from NPTEL test series. So, in that, uh, in that also, uh, in every subject, I used to see which topics I am lagging behind in each subject. Uh, from, from those mistakes, I learned uh, what were topics to learn in more depth detail. Sir, one question is there. Uh, if you, when you were attempting the mock test, especially for the gate 25, so have you seen that that has been whatever the marks you are getting at that particular time in in your mock test, does it reflected in your real examination? Uh, actually, I did somewhat more better than that. More better than that's Sir, very actually, nice. We actually say this to students, right? Uh, because test series is make uh, is made much more harder correct. to uh, prepare the students but mm. gate exam is much lighter it is mm. more like uh, it is more smooth it is more uh, average sort of thing mm. i would like to uh, add one more point here sir this is what we actually teach students na mm. you have to make it iterative method like correct. first of all you have to give subject wise test series mm. find out the topics which are difficult mm. then study that find out the mistakes what you are doing and the similar thing versus has done so students Test series has to be done like this only, like what Vashist has told you. So in this way only test series has to be utilized. And one very important point, initially you would be getting very less marks in your test series. Slowly you will improve and in your gate exam, you will do much better in uh, what you are getting in test series. With respect to your test series, gate exam will be much more better or higher. Uh, one, one question every time a student asking about that, what should be our resource? Exactly. So I think when, when I see uh, many of the students are trying to get the uh, number of materials, number of questions from this institute, this institute and Falana Demaka, whatever uh, they do. What do you think, what, what should be the precise resource that is required for any kind of a student who they are preparing for the gate-like examination? What exactly must be the resource? It must be 
one sided or it must be their number of practice sheet must be their number of books he has to study number of textbook he has to study number of batches he has to do what should be your opinion on this particular thing resources it may it should be uh, the classroom study material and then pyqs test series problems those will be mostly enough sir that is more sufficient means pyq every time i am seeing that whatever ranker they are coming here sir mm -hmm. everybody is seeing that pyq must be the top priority and second one is that if you are dealing with the classes then definitely notes are going to be the sufficient for the preparation so i don't think so number of things are not required for the gate preparation less resource and do it effectively and multiple time that is going to play the better role sir one point is uh, from my side one question is also when we see every time we in, in the classes also i we also used to say that do revision from the day one do revision every day do the revision and weekly revision and monthly revision what should be your opinion or your suggestion to the students especially college going students how to manage your uh, revision uh, during the preparation a preparation maybe after completing a subject they may write a, a subject wise test series and uh, based on those marks they can be able to learn on which topic they are lagging so they can revise those topics maybe they can they may give you 2 3 days to revise those topics again and then they can start a next subject so after completing these two subjects they can give these two subjects a test paper and then giving doing these things can okay so revision with test series is a very good strategy mm. Mm. Uh, that uh, we uh, actually suggest to the students and varshish has already used it varshish one more question that uh, when you go to college there are many pressures in college like we have some assignments projects many other things are there and there is one more thing that is we have to prepare for gate also so what was your motivation like what actually motivated you throughout the journey that you are actually taking your time for college also for gate preparation also and everything else also uh these assignments projects this will be there sir but uh, we should uh, maybe during those times also we should be giving maybe one or two hours to, to that may we may not listen to lessons but at least we should try solving any pyqs dpps during those times okay uh, i was asking what was your motivation like who motivated you throughout the journey for preparation is there any person or is there anything you have seen that motivated mainly my father has motivated me okay so right. father is the real <laughs> inspiration for your this particular success and one thing i have always seen that uh, that if somebody is a ranker like you guys are the best possible ranker in gate 2025 they thought that these students always used to study 24 hour they are just studying you studying say is there any other thing you used to do in your uh, day uh, life extra curriculum extra curriculum something uh, i mostly i watch movies movies what kind of movies <laughs> <laughs> all, all many hollywood bollywood south okay. indian or bollywood every every kind of movie you love to watch the movies it it also Uh, reflects here that don't think like that if somebody mm -hmm. is topper that means they are studying 24 Every, hour for yeah. the examination they also enjoy their, their life and definitely in your young age you have to do whatever you want to do do whatever you want to do but don't don't commit any type of mistake with your career mm -hmm. do 2 3 hour 4 hour in your college duration as versus said that 3 to 4 hours uh, that will be the sufficient if you are studying for the gate 2025 examination so coming to the next question and after that we have a uh, two more questions one i am going to ask and one siddharth sir will definitely ask you uh, uh, as you know that in third year if you have got a such a beautiful rank then there is only way that is the mtech only mm -hmm. not not yes, psu yes. okay so are you going to appear for the fourth year also for the gate examination to uh, improvise something or you want to do for the gate preparation again uh, depending on the placement sir if i get placement then i'll i will be go for the company sir okay otherwise i will be writing next time also gate okay okay sir and one last question from my side is uh, what can be Uh, your suggestion to all the students who are watching this session like what can you suggest to the students of third year second year and final year like what can be one statement from your side that this is the statement and if you follow this you can crack gate exam with very good rank first they should list their topic sir that means which they are perfect clear about and then which which they are to be learned in a more depth way 
and then they want to listen to the classes and make notes perfectly uh, with, in between they should write they should be writing subject wise test series and uh, after completing syllabus they should be writing uh, whole grant grant test series and also re- revising the topics which which they are lagging after writing test series these things will be enough for cracking it okay so uh, students if i summarize uh, the points raised by varshish and these are very important first of all i would say that your pre-op preparation should start from first year like don't join any batches from first year start focusing in your college start focusing in your classes in your college and start gaining the basic concepts from your college itself now after that in second year or third year if you want to start your preparation with full power you can join the batches and you have to first of all list the topics which are already known to us on to known to you and then you have to list the topics which are not known to you or which are very weak in your mind then follow the classes of the batches for those topics that will help you in time management as well as you will able to sub- uh, complete the subject in very less time after that with your test series do the revision in the iterative manner as stated by varshish and after that try to finish your syllabus by november or december in december you should start your full syllabus and then you can crack your exam in february in next year thank you from my side okay so uh, finally in this particular podcast i would say that make things very simple don't make it complex okay less resource always important do it effectively and do it multiple times that is more important what you guys are doing you are collecting number of resources and trying to figure out that in one subject i will do the practice of 1000 question that is not going to help you for this particular examination do 100 question 200 question that is okay but do it effectively and multiple times do take a good revision of your subjects multiple time yeah your, your notes must be revised at least mm-hmm. 3 to 4 times then after you must shift to the short notes it's it's not like that first time you have studied mm-hmm. the subject and, and you are doing the short. from the short notes na so this time third year students are doing superb and definitely we are expecting that all the college students will learn something that stop complaining stop crying for your college and don't blame the college na that that you are not getting the time for the how they have got the time mm-hmm. to to study for the gate examination and if they can crack this particular examination which are such a beautiful rank definitely you can also so do come with the batches or do the self study whatever mm-hmm. you want to do and make your parents and your family and me also or sir also everybody feel proud and we will discuss next toppers also and definitely their their journey will inspire you thank you so much so last point i would like to make here that varshist and all the third year students who are getting very good rank in this gate 2025 you are really creating history and you are also creating uh, motivation to all the college going students and really i am very inspired from your hard work and your from your rank thank you thank you very much thank you